Because they won't let you back in the house? Yeah. Probably we told them not to. <laughs> hey, man. Go ahead. And then you, like, surrender. Can you still get the blessing from it? Or are you just doing it? You no, you're going to still get whipped. Now, if you truly accept that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, you still left this program, you're saying, does God leave you? No. The thing is that if you decide you want to leave in your flesh, you still have the will. You can still do that. It's called backsliding. And God says, I'm married to the backslider. Once you become totally backslidden, you can never born again anyway. Okay? And no such thing as uh, uh, a, back, a person with backslider or fully back. Because when you fully back, you was never saved. Okay? While you're sliding back, God is still holding on to you. But he's going to allow you to get with. He sticks his pit bull on you. Who's a pit bull? He lets you take and bite you. I'm coming home, Lord. Mix this. I can't take it no more. Because you made a vow to him. You made a vow to him. You're either going to come back and do it again, or you're going to go around the same circle. That's what happened to the children of Israel. 11 day journey to what? 40 years. Because they complained, they argued, complained and argued. They saw the power of God just complained and argued. God killed them all off before they, they, any of them could go to milk, land and milk and honey. But you keep complaining, you're going to have to do it all over again. Believe me, I know. The more I complained, the more I had to repeat it. So it's best to go through it once, brothers. Believe me. Go through it one time. Get it over with. Get it over with. John 8. Come on. Just a few more verses. John 8. Come on. John 8. Here we go. Uh, why, why, why? Yeah. 842 to 47. 842 says this. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father... You would love me, for I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he what sent me. They're going to answer to your question. Why, 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 why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word, you are of your father, the devil. You are of the father, your devil. The lust of your father, you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. And above, not in the truth. He didn't live in the truth. Amen? Because, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh as his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Which of you conceive, uh, com convinces me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God hears God's words. You therefore hear them not, because you are not of God. And these people who are doing this mess out here with the churches and all that stuff are not helping people. They're not of God. They're not of God. So they want to claim they are the prosperity teacher. Name it, claim it. I can't find that in the Bible nowhere. If anybody find name it and claim it in the Bible, please let me know where it is. I can't find it. Name it and claim it. Where's that? Amen? Ask these kind of questions. Where's that at? Ask these preachers, where, where's that stuff at? Once you sow a seed, let me give you a handkerchief. Yeah, Paul used a handkerchief once in the Bible in the book of Acts. But you ain't going to send me no handkerchief a thousand miles away and told me God made you on my heart and you sent out three thousand of them. You ain't going to tell me that water came from the river Jordan of Jerusalem and if I send you a thousand dollars, you know, you're going to send me this water and it'll heal. You ain't going to tell me to lay that cross on my son and he will not be homosexual no more. Give me a break. Wake up. Get smart. Have common sense. These people are lying. They're con artists. They're manipulators. You ain't gonna tell me I got cancer. You're gonna suck it out my cheek, and you have a piece of of, of, of kidney from a from a bird or a piece of pig meat. Hey Amen. That's what they do, and they make it look like it's coming out. You ain't gonna put no ink on your forehead that when I sweat it turns red. You believe it's the blood of God that crosses over me. But gullible people believe that stuff. Don't be gullible. Don't fall for the tricks. Don't listen to the auction show. Give me twenty five thousand. You got twenty five. Give me twenty five hundred. Oh, give me twenty five. Who got two fifty? Who got two fifty? Come on down to two fifty. Oh, who got two hundred fifty? Oh, who got twenty five? Twenty five. Twenty five. Take it all the way down to a quarter. Why didn't you start at a quarter? Who got a quarter? Everybody run up and give a quarter. Wouldn't you? But they start at the top to work their way down. You're conning, and you ain't getting mine. Amen. Amen. First John. Five. We almost done. Two more scriptures. First John 5, 14. You know what? This is going right into what we were talking about, the prayer thing. Here's the other answer to your prayer. Highlight this. 
This is the way God wants you to pray. First John 5, back by Revelation. If you're not praying this way, you're not getting your prayer answered. Okay? First John 5. First John, not John. First John, in the back of the Bible. First John chapter 5, verse 14. Says this. And this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we pray or ask anything according to your will, whose will? His will. His will. His will. He does what? Hears. hears us. Amen. And if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we pray, we know that he will what? Have the perdition that will desire of him. But we must pray what? According to his will. His will. Not yours. His will. His. What's his will? That I pray for you. Because he already got you covered. Amen? Well, God, I need a house, I need a car, I need money, I need that lot. Well, have you prayed for brother so-and-so who's hungry? Did you go take him anything? Did you take him, take, he thirsty? Did you give him anything? But you sit up there drinking nice cool water talking about, God, I need a hundred dollars to pay my bill. You sit up there eating a plate of chicken wings and cabbage and everything, and that dude sitting on the corner starving. Did you take him a plate? But you got a need, but you want me to bless you, but you didn't even give him a chicken wing. How about the guy in prison? Did you go visit him? How about the person in the hospital? Did you go and just say, how you doing? I started visiting people who were terminally, going for terminally, not just terminally, terminally ill. You know what terminally ill is? They're going to die anyway. I thought, what you give me that for? I minister to people who are going to die. And they know it. So what do I say to these people? She just loves you. I give them hope. Because they know they're going to die. Amen? How do you minister to somebody they know they're going to die? I can't even look at them and say, what am I saying? Dad, am I in your shoes? But I had to give them love. That was hard for me, man. How many of y'all can do that? It's different than going to visit someone sick, but when you're going into a place and you know they're going to die, they know they're going to die. It ain't like they're going to be executed. They know they're going to die. What am I walking in and say, in the name of Jesus, I cast out cancer, I cast out that tumor, I cast out that bad heart that's going to crack out in the next hour or two? Maybe if I had enough faith, I could. But I know the inevitable what's going to happen. And then you're going to tell me if it don't happen, my faith is low? Don't believe that. That could have been God's what? Amen. Amen. Anybody get anything out of this? All I'm saying is use common sense. Finally, let's go to Revelation. Next book over. Chapter 3. Revelation, chapter 3. And we're almost done. Give me five more minutes. Revelation, chapter 3. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Revelation, chapter 3, verse 20. Revelation, chapter 3, verse 20. Notwithstanding. Wait a minute. Am I at the right chapter? Nope. Revelation, chapter 3. Uh, here we go. Uh, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will I will come into